Hello my schoolers, this is my school channel and hi I'm Abiola. In this channel we are tackling the 2017 jam pass question for the subject physics. So right now we'll be tackling question 1 to 15. Don't go, just join me right on as we tackle question number 1. Which is the incorrect formula for a body accelerating uniformly? Okay, so we can use the equation of motion to determine which of these options we have here is incorrect. So you will recall that V equals to U plus AT. We have um, V square equals to U square plus 2AS. We have X equals to UT plus half AT square. Whatever we have in option D is just a kind of... Um, um, a kind of exchange whereby 2AS is being made the equation or the subject of the formula. So looking at this, sending u square outside, we have b square minus u square equals 2AS. So the invalid or the incorrect option that we have here is option A, which contains A equals v square minus u square over 2. So option A is the correct option. Question 2. Which of the following is not an electromagnetic radiation? Okay, so we we'll recall that electromagnetic wave or radiation, they don't require a material medium for their propagation. So the odd one that we have here is option D for sound waves. A sound wave or sound waves cannot travel in a vacuum. So the correct option here is option D for sound waves. Right now we are tackling question three. Calculate the electric field intensity between two plates of potential difference 6.5 volts, which is when separated by a distance of 35 centimeters. So just recall that electric field intensity um, relates electric potential between two points. Okay, so that is just V over D. Your D will be produced in the unit of meters. So we have to convert. 35 centimeters to meters, and that gives us 0 0.35 meters. So the formula will now be V, that is 6.5 over 0 0.35. So let's use our whiteboard to prefer solution to this question. V over V, electric field potential, okay? We have our volts as 6.5 over the distance is 35 centimeters from the question but we are converting to meters as earlier mentioned so we would have 0 0.35 so by the time we carry out this simple operation we'll have something around 18.57 approximately okay 18.57 then we attach the unit so if we go back to our screen and see through our options we'll see which of them carry our answer Looking through it, we have option A for 18.57. So option A is super correct. Question number four. Why do soldiers march disorderly while crossing a bridge? Okay, this is to avoid um, resonance. Resonance can lead to collapse in a bridge. Once the soldiers are marching across, once the frequency gets very close to that of the bridge's uh, frequency, Okay, this can produce a strong uh, mechanical resonance that can in turn create vibrations and this can make the bridge to collapse. So the core reasons why they are advised to match disorderly while on the bridge is to prevent resonance on the bridge. So the correct option here is option A. Remember that you can use any of the my school tools to help you better prepare for your coming exams. All you just have to do is to click on the link in the description below. It takes you to the my school website where there are enough information for you on how you can get the my school mobile app or the my school software just for a token of 1000 naira. And you should also know that you can earn even as you learn. There are other packages whereby the more you buy, the lesser you pay and the more money you can cash in. So join me as we tackle question number five. Calculate the up thrust on an object of volume 50 cm cube, which is immersed in liquid of density 10 raised to power 3, that is a kilogram per meter cube, given acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second squared. So, join me as we go to our whiteboard 
for us to prefer solution to this question. So recall that density equals mass over volume. Okay, don't mind my symbols. I'm just trying to walk us through the solution to this question. So we are given density, we are given volume, but we aren't given mass. Recall that the volume we are given is given in centimeter cube. So we have to convert to meter cube. Okay, so that implies that it will be 50 divided by okay 10 raised to power minus 6 okay very well or 50 times 10 raised to power minus 6 whichever one works for you so we are first to uh, firstly we have to make mass the subject of the formula we cross multiply then we have mass equals density times volume okay so from the question we are given density as 10 raised to power 3 Okay, 10 raised to the power 3 times the volume, that is 50 times 10 raised to the power minus 6. Okay, so I would have 50 times 10 raised to the power minus 6. We have the same base of 10 and 10, so that would be minus 6 plus 3. So I would have 50 times 10 raised to the power minus 3. Okay, so if I also want to eliminate the zero that 5 carries, I can still do something like this. 5.0 times 10 raised to power 1 times 10 raised to power minus 3. So I would have 5 times 10 raised to power minus 3. That's plus 1. So I would have 5 times 10 raised to power minus 2. Okay, that still means 5 times 1 over 100. And that is 0 0.05. Okay, it doesn't hang there, we just have to move further. And then we would have our uptrust as we are given the mass, which is 0 0.05 times gravity, which is 10. Okay, so what we're going to have is 0 0.5. So join me as we go back to our screen and confirm our option. So we can see that option C for 0 0.5 Newton is the correct option. Please do not forget that you have to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notification so you can get alerts as soon as the next video is uploaded. Number 6. Under what conditions are cathode rays produced in a discharge tube? Okay, at first this tube is a vacuum and this is done in the conditions of low pressure and high voltage. High voltage is applied at one hand, okay, to the two metal plates so that we can have these rays produced from the cathode. That is why they are referred to as cathode rays. So the correct option here is option D, at low pressure and high voltage. Question 7, under which of the following conditions is work done? Okay, going by the definition of work done, that is talking about force and it's involving distance. So when you look at all of these options that we have here, we'll consider option B because a boy climbs onto a table, okay? The climbing requires force and uh, we're talking about onto a table. So we have just observed that distance is also involved. So the correct or the most viable option to this question that we have is option B, a boy climbs onto a table. Question 8. Calculate the specific latent heat of vaporization of steam of 1.13 times 10 raised to the power 6 joules of heat energy that is required to convert 15 kilograms of steam to water. Okay, so specific latent heat of vaporization can be simply placed as that amount that you need to boil and evaporate one kilogram of water so join me as we go to our whiteboard and tackle this question so we are given okay the specific latent heat of vaporization equals the quantity of heat that is 1.13 okay times 10 raised to the power 6 all right divided by the mass okay and we have a 15 kilogram so by the time we carry out this simple operation, what we are going to get is somewhat around 7.53 times 10 raised to power 4, okay? So 
that's just our hand size. So let's go back to our screen and pick the correct option. So we'll look through the options together and we'll see that option C is correct. 7.53 times 10 to the power 4 joules per kilogram. So option C is very correct. Number 9. A cell of internal resistance 2 ohms supplies current to a 6 ohms resistor. The efficiency of the cell is what? Okay. So the efficiency will be that... Um, external resistor efficiency equals external resistor 6 over the two the sum of the two resistors that is 6 plus 2 and that gives us 8 okay times 100 percent okay 100 over 1 so we have 6 we have 2 here 3 2 goes here 4 okay 4 we have 25 so 25 times 3 that gives us 75 percent so the efficiency we just measured out here is 75%. So let's go back to our screen and pick the correct option. So we can see that option D is super correct. Remember that we have plenty of solution providers waiting to help you out. All you just have to do is to click on the link in the description below. It takes you to the My School website where these solution providers are waiting to help you out. So why not ask your questions right now and get the solutions that you need. So right now we're tackling question number 10. Which of the following statements is not correct? Okay, we have statement A. Molecules of a liquid are stationary. This is incorrect. Uh, we have Brownian motion is an evidence of particle nature of matter this is valid we have option c matter is made up of molecules according to kinetic molecular theory made up of tiny particles referred to as molecules we have option d the molecules of matter are in constant random motion and they collide elastically with one another and as a result they change direction so the statement that is not correct is statement a molecules of a liquid are stationary Perhaps you have better explanations to any of the questions we have tackled so far. Please, we would like to know. Kindly use the comment section below. Indicate the question number and the suggestions you would like to share. Right now, we are solving question 11. A block and tackle pulley arrangement has six pulleys in which an effort of 50 newtons supports a load of 200 newtons. Calculate the efficiency of the machine. Okay, so we'll record that efficiency equals mechanical advantage over velocity ratio times 100 over 1. So we would also remember that mechanical advantage equals load over effort. Okay, we have a load of 200 newton and uh, we have effort 50 newton. So when we strike through, we'll have 4. Okay, that's our mechanical advantage. So going back to the formula for efficiency, we would have mechanical advantage over velocity ratio times 100 over 1. So we have our MA as 4. Our velocity ratios deals with the number of pulleys. We have 6 pulleys from the question. Alright, so we'd have 2 year 3, 2 year 50. So 50 times 4 would have 200 over 3. And that is 66.6666. So roughly we can have 66.7%. So let's go back to our options and see which of them tallies with what we have on our whiteboard. So join me as we look through these options together and we would confirm that option C is correct, 66.7%. Question 12. Three, three um, resistance are connected in parallel. What is the equivalent resistance? So this is just the sum of the algebraic sum of all of the resistance that we have. So equivalent resistance, and we are told that they are connected in parallel. So that will be one over the equivalent resistance. Okay, equals the sum of each of these resistance. That is one all over each of their values and each of them carries a value of 3 so that will be 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 so we would have LCM as 3 3 and 3 that is 1 1 times 1 1 we have plus 3 and 3 1 1 times 1 1 
we have plus again 3 and 3 1 1 times 1 we have 1 so we have 1 over the equivalent resistance equals 1 plus 1 2 plus 1 3 so we have 3 over 3 okay that is 1 goes to 1 over 1 by the time we cross multiply we would have equivalent resistance times 1 equals 1 times 1 so we can conclusively say that the equivalent resistance is 1 okay so let's go back to the screen and pick out our correct option so scanning through the options together we'll see that the valid option here is option a option a for emphasis sake is the correct option question number 13 which of the following instruments helps to maintain the correct humidity and temperature of a building okay so this is definitely an air conditioner okay this it is used to keep things within certain temperature items you keep in the refrigerator okay so talking about compressor used to supply air um, within high pressure okay so we have a blower that supplies air okay generally and so the correct option to the question we have here is an air conditioner okay at first it it makes us feel cold because it uh, removes moist from the air in the surrounding that particular environment then also it causes a drop in temperature depending on what control you send or what command you send to the air conditioner appliance so the correct option we have here is option d for air conditioner number 14 an element and its isotope only differ in the number of words at first an isotope talks about elements okay isotope talks about elements that have um, the same proton number the same atomic number but different atomic masses okay that is due to the difference in their number of neutrons okay so they still maintain the same number of protons number of electrons but different number of neutrons so the correct option here according to the explanation we just shared is option d for neutron so if we want to put it back into the question an element and its isotope only differ in the number of neutrons so option d is super correct question 15 the answer unit of movement of a force is what is a product of force and um, distance and force has the unit of newton distance in meters so that gives us that gives us newton meter so the correct option here is option b we believe you've enjoyed this content and you would like us to bring you more all you just have to do is to hit the like button click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notifications so you can get informed as soon as the next videos are released